What's up guys, it's Fief Chief here and welcome to episode 13 of the FIFA 23 Road to Glory series. We have a ton of packs in this episode. We got our Division 2 Rank 1 Rivals rewards, we got Foot Champs Qualifiers rewards, Marquee Matchups, the 85 Plus Team of the Week pack, on top of talking about some different investments we're going to be making. But before we jump into that, I need to show you the easiest way for you to get some coins. If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 5% off at checkout. Now let's get right into this video. Alright boys, so diving into this episode, we're starting off with our rivals rewards here and we've gone for the untradeable rewards, two jumbo premium gold players, two 50ks, two rare electrums. Reason for this is basically we just need fodder. We're going to be doing the Zinchenko SBC, we're going to be doing the Lampard SBC, both for the city past and present squad, and we're going to be doing the 85 plus team of the week SBC. So, Hopes are we can get some fodder, maybe get a crazy pack pool here if we get lucky, but overall, we're looking for 85 plus cards to help us complete these SBCs. We're going to start off with a board here. It's going to be Spanish right mid. Canales, we don't mind an 84 either. We need an 84 rated squad for that team of the week pack, I believe. So... That's not bad. We'll start off there. And I'd like to craft some upgrade packs from our duplicates here, depending on how many we get. So we'll kind of see and I'll craft those as we go here. If we get a bunch of duplicates in a pack, we'll go ahead and go complete one, two cards. I don't mind it. We'll just do the next pack here. I don't want to waste your guys' time. But in I'm in a position where I'm in kind of like a weird spot where I don't know what exactly I want to upgrade for my team. Is that going to be... Oh, Ferland Mendy. We like that. I thought that was going to be Theo Hernandez. That would have been sick. I would have brought Des back into the team. I would have gotten Team of the Week to Mori. We don't mind a Ferland Mendy, though. That's a decent card to have. Maybe we can fit him in. I'm trying to think about what we have in the club. I mean, I've got that Valverde card. We could potentially try to fit those two in together. But this Mendy would definitely be my best left back I have in the club, I feel like. so, And I haven't used him this year. So worth a go. That's a nice... It's a nice card to have in the club, bare minimum. So we may, we may give him a go at some point here. But like I was saying, I'm in kind of like a weird position in terms of what I want to do with my team. Because so much of my team has been based around the City Past and Present squad. And I mean... There's some cards I've just been disappointed with, like Cancelo has been kind of bad for me. I don't love him, but the cards I'm bringing in, like Zinchenko and Lampard, aren't really the level of cards I would like for my main team. So I want to know what kind of cards you guys would be interested in, in me trying out, whether it be just like some different icons, high-end heroes. Maybe I go get Yaya Torre, and I'm sure it'll all change when the World Cup mode comes here, because once we get those special... Uh, World Cup heroes. I'm sure I'll be putting a ton of coins into those because I'll definitely be getting that Landon Donovan card, which just looks outrageous how good it is. That Landon Donovan card is going straight in my team, and we are going to be using him for a long time. I can tell you that. We're not getting too many duplicates here, which is nice. And then that Yaya Torre card, straight in the team, whenever I can afford him, because that card is going to be millions and millions and millions of coins. Dude, we're not we're not packing anything here. Our rivals rewards have been very, very bad recently. I mean, at least the silvers are nice to have in the club, I guess. I suppose. Enzo Fernandes. Maybe he still goes for some coins. I mean, like, we're at least stocking the club up again, and this will help us complete marquee matchups pretty easily. But, I mean, Rivals rewards have been a mess recently. We got the 250Ks, but two the 50Ks are the worst pack in the game. We all know this. We all know this. Oh, we got a board. That's a surprise from a 50K. It's going to be Verratti. Oh, it's Jorginho, 85. I mean, it's an 85 to go into that Team of the Week pack, so can't be mad about it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Ooh, team of the week in there as well. 84. You know what? That's a good 50k. 85, 84 in a team of the week. We don't mind that. Not that team of the weeks are really useful quite yet, but at some point, we'll have a bunch of team of the weeks to put into SBCs. All right, come on. Last one, 50k pack. Treat us right here. EA. It is a board. It's Spanish, which is never good. And it's going to be Moonyine 84 rated there. So, I mean, 284s in there. 
Disappointing stuff from Rivals Rewards. Nothing special there. I'm going to get marquee matchups done here. I want to show you our progress in Foot Champs qualifiers. I know we're doing well, but I don't really know how many games I've even played here. So we'll take a look at that. Get rid of that stuff, and then I'll get marquee matchups done, and we can go ahead and pop those packs open. But in terms of what we're doing, I've changed up the squad slash what well, the squad's still the same as the last episode same team here however what i am doing is playing the 41212 now i've switched to the 41212 formation to try it for qualifiers and i've been playing really really well so far so i'm going to continue to try to rock with this formation i'm enjoying it quite a bit and I mean, bringing in Valverde and Ferlin Mendy would actually fit my squad perfectly. Now that I look at it, if I go, if I go grab Ferlin Mendy here, where's he at? 83 rated? If I go grab him, thing is, I have so many left backs as well. If I grab Ferlin Mendy and we go like that. And then we pop him up there. It gives us another La Liga player as well. So he's on three chem. Valverde gets two. Navas gets two. I mean, that, that puts us in a really nice spot. And then we could bring Sterling off the bench if we'd like. Honestly, that's super, super nice. Now, what's he like compared to Captivia? Way more pace. Way more physical, way less defending, basically, is what we're looking at. I'll at least try him out. We're going to put him in for now, give him a go. I guess I'll slap, I'll figure out the chem style in a bit here. And then Valverde, we can use as the box-to-box -box center mid, and I get to put Foden back at cam, which I would like to do anyway. So we're going to go like that. I'm going to put Valverde on the right, Cancelo on the left, and beautiful stuff. So... Little change to the team there, just based off of rivals rewards. Don't mind it. We'll get to try out for Owen Mendy. But let me go ahead, get marquee matchups done, make a little bit of progress. Actually, let's see where we're at in Foot Champs qualifiers. I think it's either 4-0 or 5-0. We're currently 4-0 in qualifiers. Um, what's like rank two rewards? This is what I feel like I'm capable of, which is really, really nice, especially considering it's tradable. So maybe we get to that. We'll have to see. But I'll catch you guys in a second. We've made some progress here and we'll have the marquee matchups done as well. All right, boys, we are back. I lost two games on penalties and got triggered. So I quit out of the rest of the games and we got rank four in playoffs here. So we got two mega packs and a rare gold pack, which is honestly still really good. I love mega packs for some reason. I think they might be the best pack in the game. And then also went and completed marquee matchups. So we got eight different tradable packs to open here. Anything is free coins. So we'll take whatever EA give us here. And then I've gone and reconstructed the past and present squad based on what we're going to be picking up this week. We're going to be changing up that squad again. And then the main squad's probably going to stick with what we have right now. There's supposed to be no promo this weekend. So no real new cards to put into the team. So nothing too exciting on that front but the past and present squad obviously we got some new we got the new Zinchenko card which is going to make its way in and I'm gonna sell Cancelo at some point this weekend I think so we'll go ahead sell him on as well because I, he's just been disappointing man I feel like like I absolutely love that card at left back and right back where I used him I thought he was the best fullback in the game and in the midfield with the upgraded card for some reason he just he doesn't seem like he's all that. He just, he doesn't seem quick. His dribbling and passing aren't great. I don't know what it is. We get an 84 Suarez there, which is nice. That's 2.5k for the bank. But yeah, that card, I'm not sure what it is, but he just hasn't been all that. And there's just so many midfielders I can use in the City team as well. I've got Phillips. I'm going to have Zinchenko, Phillips, and Lampard all untradeable as midfielders I can use. And then you got to think like KDB I can use. There's going to be so many cards. Who is this? Holy shit. I don't even know who he is. I thought we were going to get ourselves an Anthony Robinson there. Which actually would have been a cool card to have first owner. And I have so much to sell in this club as well. Like silvers that are going for tons of coins. Bronzes. I've been super busy. So I haven't been able to sell items in the club. And my club is just loaded with stuff so i need to go through and clean it up especially when so much stuff is up in price like during marquee matchups right now i need to go through and clean the club out so i'll have to get that done at some point whenever i get some free time so like 
our club is just, we are in such a good position with the World Cup mode coming and getting to use so many cool players and cards that they're going to be releasing. I can't wait. The Yaya Torre card, the Landon Donovan card. It's going to be so much fun. And I honestly, I think they're going to smash it because the content, I feel like it's not going to be like the typical promos we, we see where it's like, oh, we get a couple SBC players and wow, all duplicates. We get a couple SBC players. We get the objective player on Friday. We get upgrade. Pa I don't think it's going to be like that. I think it's going to be whole new content that they give us. I think it's going to be really exciting and it's going to get a lot of people kind of locked back into this game. Are we not going to get a walkout today? Out of all these packs, we've got like one board, man. This has been horrible. This has been absolutely horrible. I mean, not even like a decent chem style. I should sell the Liverpool kit, but there's something about discarding it that would feel good. Oh my God. Last pack EA. I mean, this has been horrific. Toss us something. Throw me a bone. Get me excited. It's not even a board. That is a horrible set of packs another duplicate coats there whole lot of duplicates in the club a lot of things to sell and but i'll show you guys the new squad here i guess i'll discard those send those up discard that a lot of coins just from discarding those things in mega packs as well but if we go take a look so main squad is as i showed you before obviously we have a lot of different options we could go for with it as well now, past and present squad, this is currently what I'm thinking here. This would just be Gold Cancelo at left back here. So we'd have Holland, Jekko up front, Foden, Cam. We get the new Lampard and Zinchenko that we're going to be bringing in right there. And then Phillips at CDM. Honestly, I'm a big fan of that. I'm hoping we can get... We can get that very, very soon here with the Zinchenko. I just, like, we just wanted some fodder today, man, and they didn't give us anything. But we are going to complete the 85-plus Team of the Week upgrade here. We do want to get this done. So let's go ahead. Gold rare, untradeable here. I don't mind throwing Gundawan in. It's not like we were really going to use him anymore. We have so many midfielders. We get these 84s and 83s in here, and then I'm going to have to buy a couple 85s, but that's more than fine. They're a little bit inflated right now, which is why I'm hoping we could just pack a couple of them, but it is what it is. I kind of want to get this done. There's there's so many city cards we could get to. We got what? We got Team of the Week Cancelo, Team of the Week Akanji, Holland, De Bruyne. I mean, number one we'd want would be Holland, then De Bruyne for sure. If we can get either of those, that would be crazy so that's the hope that is the hope we'll go ahead we could take quite a few of these 84s out especially since we have to include 85s <laughs> we might not have to put eight any 84s in here and then we can probably go and complete as well the the section of lampard that i was looking at so let's go pick up the cheapest 85s here footbin cheapest by rating 85s we'll go pick up an iago aspas here what how many do we need of these four and we got two in there all right 10k these are about which sucks because these are like 2k over where you'd like to buy them where it's like a reasonable price take another 84 out of there yeah we need four of these and then we'll go ahead and pick up sule as well we'll have this 85 plus team of the week pack done and dusted here 10 to 50 for him 10.5 there he is beautiful st oh what the hell just happened okay there he is all right and then toss him in we have another 84 there oh perfect rating as well all right there it is job done nothing in here we really want to keep Submit that 85 plus team of the week player pack. This is a big pack, honestly. There are some huge cards we could get. Mbappe, Usman Dembele. Uh, obviously, all the city cards we mentioned. This is a big pack. Hopefully, we can get something big. Like Even like a team of the week Saliba would be kind of cool. He's only 50k, but go ahead. Toss us something big here. If this is Norway, I'm going crazy. Here we go. It's a walkout. Italy striker is that a Mobley 87? I mean, 
don't mind it, I guess. 87 team of the week. How much are those going for at the moment? How much are those going for? It could have been a lot worse, so I'm not going to sit here and complain. 87 team of the weeks are 27k for the cheapest one. This Immobile card is 54k, but that's just because he was team of the week one. I mean, it's a good it's a good card to have for future SPCs. Was hoping for better, but you know what? It, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. Let's go ahead and complete this section for Lampard after we pack Mbappe in this preview pack. No board. On theme with the episode. I mean, that that is just one of the worst run of packs I've ever seen. But let's get this. I think I still have the cards to get this Lampard done. I should at least. Do do do. And we need to get Zinchenko done as well. What does he require? I haven't even looked yet. 83 and an 84 and you need dang he's kind of i mean i say he's kind of expensive he's like 60k to to do from scratch so it's not like it's a big deal all right let's get this 84 squad out of here oh wow i submitted a lot of stuff all right let's see if we still got the rate oh we got rating by a million here don't we what if i go 84 for 86 I'm pretty sure I can't. No, I cannot do that. And then if I go 83 for 84. So we can toss some lower rated cards in here as well, which is nice. Sancho. We'll put Socket in there as an 82. Bang. Can't do that. 84 for 83. All right, there it is. That's perfect. This is going to be another section of Lampard done. So we got an 85 left to do Lampard, and we have him done, and then just 60K to do Zinchenko. Our club is getting, we're getting a ton of specials in the club that are going to be fun to play with, different cards to try out. We're going to be able to rock so many different teams. I'm excited with just the like sheer amount of sick cards we have to just like play around with. Oh. Why couldn't they put him in packs? We could have had him. Oh my goodness. And then I believe after this weekend as well, we are going to be completing the foot champs upgrade here. Now, it is something that I'm hesitant to do. I need to know your guys' opinion in the comments. Do I do this foot champs upgrade where you submit 11 red picks for a one of three 86 plus red pick? Or do I just hang on to these red picks to like use in cool teams? Cause like half of them aren't even really that usable. So what am I, what am I actually going to use them for? Like maybe I keep Raheem Diaz, like even Bellingham isn't really even that useful. I don't, I don't know. Like I could do it right now if I wanted to. Let me know what you guys think if I should submit this right here into the, uh, into the, foot champions upgrade if you guys want it we'll do it probably in the next episode maybe the one after let me know in the comments but guys that is going to be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video